Hey there, Steve here. Hope you're doing well. So, D A E A C sharp E tuning. It's got to be one of my all-time favourite alternate tunings, and it's used a ton by Midwest emo bands and math rock bands. And even though we need to tune up some strings and tune down this E down to D, it's highly worth it for some of the beautiful chords that we can make in this tuning. So this tuning is an A major with a D in the bass. It just sounds wonderful when you put the two together like that. So I want to teach you some chords, like i just shown you in the intro there, that just capitalise on the sound of those open strings. And I'm going to keep it fairly easy for you, so you can take these chords away and just start writing with them today. Interrupting editing Steve here. So for this section here where I'm going through these chords, you've got to keep in mind that because of this open tune sound, we've got this A, C sharp and E which is this A major triad going on. So we kind of every chord that I'm going to play here is kind of like a, a polychord, meaning there's two chords going on at the same time. So you have this A major with like different variations of a, a root note going on. But I'm seeing the application as if we're playing like this is, you know, the, um, you know, the five chord in A major. Just keep that in mind and all of the chord shapes that you're about to see here. I haven't given all the chord names because they are quite strange. And again, because of that poly, uh, two chords going on at the same time. So just keep that in mind as you watch this section. Anyway, back to the video. Now basically we're going to go through the key of A major and I'm gonna give you a chord for each scale degree of A major. And we're going to start at the top here. As we know, we've got that D in the bass. So we've got this like kind of four chord sound. And all you're gonna do is put your index finger on the fretboard here. Like so, to get that emotionally uh, uh, invoking chord there, love that one. Next one, it's basically there's octave shapes and it's going to be here on the second fret there. Now we've got our five chord in A major, kind of sound let's say. Now we're going to have the sixth chord, so what we're going to do is slide up. Now we're going to have our seventh chord, so kind of a diminished sound. Love the tension in that one, right? And now to our one, the A. Sounds lovely, <laughs> resolved right, that one. Now our second minor chord, third minor chord. So again, just sliding up. And then we arrive back at the fourth chord up there. And let's go through those chords. I'll use that same progression that I shown you in the intro. Uh, so something that you can practice and start using straight away with these chords. throwing in that borrowed chord, <clears throat> it really just catches your listeners ear, right? <laughs> Lovely. So, don't be scared. Feel free to mess around with those chords. I really want you to use these to start just inspiring you to, uh, you know, create some, some kind of song ideas. So, for those of you who want to start creating some um, melody, with, uh, with these chords. I know that's a big thing that we do in math rock and Midwest emo. I just want to teach you, like these chords, the same kind of application, some simple arpeggios that you can use with each shape, uh, with each of these chords, and they're kind of these repeating shapes uh, across the fretboard. And when we put them together, we can use this pattern that will go across from each of the chord shapes, and they just all link together and sound nice, basically. So I'm going to start up here on the 12th fret for this D sound. <laughs> And the arpeggio is going to be, which for Final Fantasy fans, <laughs> it's the uh, Aeris, the first three notes of Aeris uh, theme tune there, I think. <laughs> 
So the, all these notes are basically the first, third and fifth of these chords. So they're going to sound nice in company with these chord shapes. Now for our next chord, the minor chord, so again here. And another minor chord, same shape. So just that repeat, repeated shape. And to a major chord again. So like the D. Now we've got the diminished, half diminished kind of chord, so. So it's the only one out of the lot that's a slightly different. It's kind of a that triangle instead of this triangle. You could see it that way. And then we come up to our other minor chord here, the sixth. So we're going to that triangle there. Now our major chord. Now we're back at the start. So. And then uh, obviously that one an octave higher there. And you can start to connect these together with um, some kind of ideas. So you can slide up to notes between these two shapes, you know. And so we can start to connect some ideas. So here's an example of that. And don't forget you can make use of the open strings too. So if you need some riffs to learn in this tuning along with the stuff that I've shown you today then I recommend checking out this video next where I go over one of the most common riffs that are really fun in this tuning as well as some other math rock kind of Midwest emo riffs that are going to help you be a better player this year. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please check out the links below to learn more about math rock Midwest emo. I've got a few courses and my math rock ebook down there. Um, I really appreciate the support. Thank you very much to the patrons and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.